A Manhattan merchant banker has been charged with being a spy in the U.S. The dual U.S.-Russian citizen even ran a propaganda center in New York City and had multiple communications where she directly spoke with Vladimir Putin. According to the Department of Justice, 61-year-old Elena Branson was illegally working as a spy for the Russian government since at least 2011. She is being charged with six counts, including acting as an agent of a foreign government while failing to notify the Attorney General, failing to register under the Foreign Agents Registration Act, conspiring to commit visa fraud, and lying to the FBI. Elena Branson, or Elena Chernik, I should say, was born in the Soviet Union and emigrated to the U.S. at the age of 30 in 1991. As per court documents, she would later become a U.S. citizen in 1999. By 2012, she had founded the Russian Center of New York, and the prosecutor for this case said that she did so with the approval and tens of thousands of dollars from the highest levels of the Russian government. The organization would often host annual youth and other events that promoted Russian history and culture. These events were also used as excuses for Russian officials and their associates when requesting fraudulent visas to enter the U.S. Elena also worked as the chairperson for the Russian Community Council of the USA, an organization that was allegedly funded by Russian government entities with the purpose of aiming an I Love Russia campaign in American youth. Elena ended up fleeing the U.S. in 2020 and still remains at large. Back in October of 2021, she did an interview on the Russian state-controlled station known as RT, and she told the interviewer Maria Butina, who was also convicted of working as a foreign agent in the U.S. in 2018, that she left America because she was scared that she was going to be arrested. And this announcement of charges being filed against Elena came just a few hours after U.S. President Joe Biden revealed a ban on energy imports from Moscow because of their invasion of Ukraine. Damian Williams, the U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York, announced the charges after the unsealing of a criminal complaint in a Manhattan federal court. In a statement, he said, Elena Branson actively subverted foreign agent registration laws in the United States in order to promote Russian policies and ideology. Branson is alleged to have corresponded with Putin himself and met with a high-ranking Russian minister before founding a Russian propaganda center here in New York City, the Russian Center New York. And according to their website, the center says that their mission is, Russian Center New York is a community organization founded in 2012 in New York to celebrate and share Russian cultural heritage for the enrichment of our community, improve relations between the American and the Russian people, protect the rights of Russian Americans, and encourage their participation in public and cultural affairs of the U.S. And the prosecutors are also alleging that Elena used the center to help Russian officials obtain visas to the U.S. as well. According to court documents, in or about October 2018, Branson provided information to an individual about an event in the United States that Branson was coordinating through the Russian center in New York so this individual could use the event as a false pretense to obtain a visa to enter the United States when in fact Branson knew the individual had no intention to attend the event. And Branson knew that she was supposed to register as an agent of the Russian government but chose not to do so and instead instructed others on how to also illegally do the same. After Russia had annexed Crimea in 2014, the network started to become increasingly aggressive and nationalistic about Russia. What's wild is that even though she was still holding down a full-time job as a Manhattan banker, Elena also coordinated through her New York Center a campaign to lobby Hawaiian officials to not change the name of Fort Elizabeth on the Hawaiian island of Kauai, which apparently is the last remaining former Russian fort in the Hawaiian islands. In 2019, she also provided Hawaiian officials with messages from the Russian government and organized a trip to Moscow for those same Hawaiian officials that were responsible for the potential name change. She would also regularly receive funding and direction from the Russian government, including from the Russian embassy in Washington. On September 29, 2020, she was apparently interviewed by the FBI and falsely claimed that she had never been asked by Russian officials to coordinate any meetings between U.S. business leaders or politicians and officials from the Moscow government. This meeting, though, is definitely what caused her to flee back to Russia, and the FBI used search warrants to access eight of her electronic accounts accounts and 34 electronic devices including 11 cell phones because someone who isn't up to something has 11 cell phones. She then flew to Moscow less than a month after the FBI interviewed her. In under a month she sold her NYC residence and then left the country. I'd love to hear your thoughts on all of this though because that's all the time we have for today. So stay classy and I'll see you in the next one.